DWT's celebrity contestant and RHOA star Phaedra Parks is not seeking any advice from her fellow Real Housewives. Several of them have competed in the hit reality dancing competition, so they have a wealth of knowledge. Yet, that does not mean Phaedra is calling them up anytime soon. How come? Keep reading for more details. Tito Teasy's Why Phaedra Parks Isn't Seeking Housewives Advice Season 33 of DWTS kicked off on Tuesday, September 17th, and the crowd went wild for all of the dancers. Even the contestants who fell a tad short did not seem to matter. The judges and the viewers alike were thrilled with the talent who were dancing their way across the floor. Of course, the ultimate goal is to walk away with the Len Goodman Mirable Trophy. RHOA star Fedra Parks was teamed up with Valentin Tremarkovsky. This was fun for both of them as she starred in season two of The Traitors with his brother Maxim. There is so much Phaedra has done in her life from being an acclaimed lawyer to a mortician to Rarehoe, married to medicine, and the traitors. So Dito Yeezy was just another challenge and a day in the office. Our traitors co-star and fellow Bravoleb, Tamara Judge was in the audience cheering Phaedra on. Several real housewives have competed in the past, including her fellow Atlanta ladies, including Kenya Moore, Kim Zolchak, and Neen Nikis. As for other housewives, there was Erica Jane, Lisa Rinna, Teresa Givides, Joanna Krupa, and Lisa Vanderpump. However, don't expect Phaedra Parks to phone any of them for advice. According to People, she has opted to go into this somewhat blind. I didn't ask them, because I want to go in a situation sort of fresh. Yet there was another reason why she did not go in-depth with the ladies, and it is somewhat of a dig. We had a chat, and so they gave me their thoughts about it, but I didn't really want their tips because I need to win. They haven't won yet. Ouch! At the same time, Fedra walked in knowing she was going to have to work extremely hard, despite the fun lurking under it all. I had heard that it is extremely fun, but it's a lot of hard work. But I'm a super-focused person, so I'm not afraid of hard work, but it's definitely no less than four hours a day. Fans loved Fedra. Fedra Parks got a 19 out of 30 in the DLGTS premiere, which was pretty good. More than that, the fans who did the voting loved watching her. She's a powerhouse. I'm so impressed. Hueen? That was too good. Adding ballroom dancer to her list of Joe Bez SSSS hashtag iKick. She did great being her first time. Now this is going to be fun to watch. Phaedra's personality is unmatched. There will be a double elimination next week so no one is safe. Hopefully, Phaedra not listening to anyone's advice and going right for it will pay off. Finally, what did you think of Phaedra and Val's performance? Let us know in the comments and watch Deed and Deed Tuesdays on ABC.